Okay, so we are going to go through the process of the nice Roy Europe style scrub cup. Uh, it's adjustable. Okay, so you need your fabric satin. Um, we are going to make it satin lined. Um, so this is the fabric. The length is um, roughly 34 inches and the width is 8 inches. Now the length will be your your choice of length will depend on the size of the cup so if you want the cup to be smaller for a shorter hair person then it it could be somewhere around 30 inches by 8 inches if for really long hair it could be 40 inches or 44 inches by 8 inches and the size of the the top two will depend on the length of the hair so this is for a medium size hair and medium length hair sorry and it is eight inches by nine inches you just fold it you fold the rectangle then you shape off the edge to get you the oval shape so um this is how i do it um, i'm almost always sewing for to fulfill this so i make it real fast i hope you can follow this okay so you you put the right size together the right side of the fabric uh, together then you put the right side of the satin two together you put the two of them together i use seja mostly so uh, i pin together then I put the wrong sides of this one together remember this is the right side this is the wrong side together then I pin them what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sew along this line both of them together and I I usually use sage so I'll sage around this then I'll sew along this line too okay now so I've, I've searched along this line and I've sage around this one too so I'm going to turn it inside out so that the setting will go inside and we'll have the round shape okay so we have this what i'm going to do next is i'm going to surge around this part and i'm going to surge around this part too okay so it's done now it's being cleaned along the edges so the next step is um i'm going to put elastic in it what you do is to fold this maybe one inches along the line you can iron it if you're a beginner so that it will be easy for you but i've been doing this so long so i just go ahead and do it what i'll do is um you measure from here about seven inches one two three four five six seven then you face this is for the medium size the small size can be six and the larger size can go as far as nine because it will be long all the way to the back okay so i'll pin when we count you put it in there about an inch then you pin it then it goes on the other side at the same location on the other side you pin it too okay so it will be here towards it will go towards the joint at the back okay so what i'm going to do is to stitch on it several times so that it will hold you stitch on it several times so that it will hold okay so the elastic has been sewn in it goes towards 
where the joint is at the back so what we are going to do now is we are going to put it in and sew from the joint so um, if you begin a campaign this so that it will be easy make sure you don't stitch on the elastic so I've pinned the elastic in there so that it wouldn't um, move now because it's going to be adjustable we have to leave a space in between my two fingers we are going to leave a space there so that on the inside here we are going to pull the elastic out after we've sewn then we can add a toggle to it so what i'm going to do now is to i'm going to fold the in, the inch in and i'm going to start sewing from here all the way around to this side and leave the space here so that we can pull the elastic out for the adjustment okay so i'm done sewing i've sewn all around and i left the space here so this is how it looks like on the inside okay so what i'm going to do is i usually use this to reach in for the elastic then pull it out I hold the two places together and pull the elastic so that it will be even then I then add my toggle press it you can use something else to feed it in but when I press it it go right through it I pull it and tie a knot so we are almost done what you are going to do is to mark the two centers this one is already formed because of the stitch line then the front part we put a pin there so we are going to attach the top to it so we we must have the two centers as well okay so this is how i do it to mark the centers for me then i begin attaching okay attach this part this part then always make sure you start from the front where the front is flat so you pin it okay you can pin to where it just goes by the elastic part a little all flat you go to the other side you paint it flat now we see there is SS here and it's way more than the space left so what you are going to do is just at the back you pleat you create pleat i just eyeball and create small pleats there so you create pleats to just absorb all the fabric that is left hanging okay and the good thing about this crab cap is um it's unisex so it's good for men it's good for women so it, it makes my work a little more easier yeah for the men with short hair you make it smaller and women with long hair you make it bigger the medium goes for a lot of sizes so if i wanted to make it for longer hair then the the over shape would have been longer then this one two would have been about 40 
to 44 inches it's still the same um, routine you use then so now I'm going to use a sewing machine to stitch um, all along the edge and I'll be back okay so it is also now I use a surgery to do with it because it, it makes it more cleaner and nicer so we have a scrub cap the nice Roy Europe style scrub cap it's done so the next step is how I iron it and do cut off all hanging um, threads which there are not much then a nice rose crop cap will be done so as I said it's unisex so this is our male mannequin let me adjust it so regardless of your head circumference you you can adjust it so to the men beautiful you can wear it isn't he looking gorgeous <laughs> okay and let's see on our lady so this is how we go because of the bulk in each of the back it really um, takes lots of hair and one thing to say if you want to put belt on the sides you you put them at the side at the side then the person can um, tie it up like how they want to tie it so that is it just create your belt or you can use a ribbon then you sew it here you sew it here and you the person can tie it so that is it that is our nice raw europe style scrub cap um if you have any suggestions and any questions you can comment down below and also if you want to know how to sew it without satin lining too um i know uh, some people can just look at this and do it but if you cannot do it and you would like me to make another video explaining that one too then you comment down below then i'll do exactly that um if this went well for you kindly give me some thumbs up to support the channel and you can subscribe because i have a lot of good stuff coming up so thanks for watching and share this with your friends i'll link my etsy shop below i have a shop for the caps i have a shop for fabrics and another shop for uh, elastic and many other supplies so i'm going to link them down you can um, go there if you would like to visit my shop. Thank you.